I am definitely moving. <laughs> Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new here. My name is Brooke and this is gonna be a week in my life in New York City. We are starting in halfway through the day, really. I'm about to go head out and record this week's episode of the podcast. Wearing this cute little off the shoulder Saison sweater and I'm wearing my hair up because I think like the open neck look is kind of a thing. These cute hoops might change up my lip color. We need something a little brighter. Clearly I love the pink. But yeah, let's uh, let's go record. We'll get an evening workout in. Just a regular schmegula Monday. I've never watched Grey's Anatomy. Um, I'm not really into medical shows because sometimes like the blood and like the details kind of freak me out. But for some reason I felt really drawn to start it today. I don't know why on this day. I don't know if I'll keep watching it. Literally, uh, there's like 20 seasons. So I feel like this is a commitment, but apparently the early seasons are like the best. So I'm literally on season one, episode one. Kind of a star studded cast. It's really crazy how, I guess this was the start of a lot of their careers or maybe just, maybe not the start, but in season one, we have Ellen Pompeo. Patrick Dempsey, Katherine Heigl, and so many others. But I feel like that, that's that's crazy. Sandra O, oh, what a cast. I guess it was like just a network television show, but it was just so successful. I mean, people still love it, right? Clearly, if they are still making episodes. Level one, don't bother. Good morning, guys. We're gonna go to Soul Cycle this morning. Get on the fitness grind. Outfit is my Wonder Train Lululemon leggings. They are my favorites. These are the new socks I got at the outlets. <laughs> I really like the length of them and the little stripe there, Urtia TNA. Crop top is also Lululemon. And then this sports bra underneath is from Buff Bunny. But I, I just feel the most confident in like, I feel like black tight workout leggings and like a little black um, workout top because I don't have to worry about my boobs falling out when I'm working out. My dirty hokas that need to be washed. Yeah, I'm excited to get a, get a good sweat in. And then I have some other just like random things I need to do. We're just getting over like a windstorm, so it's so I need to fix out here. Hello, New York. Beautiful, beautiful day. It says it's gonna get up to 65, but it's currently pretty cold. I feel like I need a sweatshirt and a jacket. I've just been a little chilly this morning. So this app called Meal Pal gave me some credits and I'm trying it out this week a little bit. Maybe not every day, but basically you go on the app and they partner with restaurants, take out places like all over the city. You go in and click reserve your meal. So I just got a smoothie. It's only one item per store and they pick the item for you. You load your account with credits and it costs less money than it actually would to get the item because you don't get to like pick and customize and choose, but I'm trying it out for the first time at this smoothie place I just pre-ordered. Let's see if it works. Taking a break from the video to thank the sponsor of today's vlog, Geology. I have talked about my battle with my skin for a long time and I truly will try anything. Adult acne is just super frustrating to deal with. I have been trying out Geology recently and I've been really enjoying it. The Geology Beat Acne Better Clear System is now available at Target. You guys know how much I love Target. While you're picking up all of your normal household essentials, clothes, or whatever it is, definitely pick up this kit. This is for display purposes. I have my bottles like in my shower and in my makeup bag. If you're dealing with breakouts or just acne in general, this is like a great way to clear your skin without the use of harsh chemicals. I feel like harsh chemicals can be so overly drying. They rip my skin to shreds, honestly. Geology is clinically proven and just as effective as benzoyl treatments without the burn, the irritation, the bad smell and the bleach clothes. I have used benzoyl peroxide leaning um, acne products. They literally will bleach your clothes. They'll bleach your pillows. So that's why I really like Geology. It's a really, really simple system as well. In the morning, you're going to wash your face with the clarifying gel cleanser. Then you moisturize with the brightening day cream that has SPF in it. And then at night you wash your face and then use the repairing night cream. You start with level one and every month you go up another level, so. I'm also a huge fan of like a system that is just kind of explained for me. Like I don't have to think too much into this. It's like, okay, it's three products. I know when to use them. 
that's it. So like I said, you could pick up the Geology Clear System now at Target. I'll leave a link down below to purchase the Clear System at Target. And if you purchase the Geology Clear System at Target and you show proof of your purchase, you can actually get one of these packs of pimple patches. It's a 20 pack of the Zit Zappers, the pimple patches. They're really good, let me tell you. I'm kind of a pimple patch connoisseur and these are really good. And you get this included um, if you show proof of your purchase of the Geology Clear System. That was a mouthful, so I'll leave all the information down below and let me know what you think. Feeling very spring today. Um, we are heading out right now to the TikTok office actually, and then I'm filming something later, so. These are loose jeans from Henne. I steamed them. I don't know why they're still wrinkly. They're really not that bad in person, I swear. This little sweater is from J. Crew. I'm wearing a Skims bra that actually like doesn't show barely, so I'm happy about that. White sneakers, and then I have a trench. All right, this is the finished look. So it looks a lot more polished with the trench. <laughs> go in. All right, I'm looking at an apartment here in Brooklyn. I'm filming an apartment tour video with my realtor and I'm gonna kick off like the moving series, which I'm really, really excited about. So we're in Cobble Hill. It's gonna be in a separate video, but I just wanted to say that that is what I'm up to. Also went to TikTok the day that the house passed another bill to possibly ban it. So that's that. <laughs> I can't. Good morning. Um, I stopped filming yesterday because my throat started really hurting and you could probably hear in my voice. I feel fine besides that, but I keep having to like clear my throat and I think I'm losing my voice and I'm like, well, what the heck? Cause I feel fine. That's that on that. I guess maybe we'll take it light today. I had a great day yesterday. I'm excited to share what I filmed with you guys. It will be on YouTube in a few weeks. So get excited for that. These Tower 28 little lip things are really good. Does this one have a tint? Yeah, a little bit. This one tastes like watermelon though, watermelon kiwi. I don't want to like spoil everything, but in the video I talk about my moving plans a little bit. Um, so that's kind of like a little bit of what I filmed yesterday. I am definitely moving. <laughs> that has been like in the plan. Um, that has been like, I, you know, I feel like I signed this lease for one more year and I was like, all right, but this will be the last year. I am ready for a change. I'm ready for a new neighborhood, a new space, hopefully a bigger space. I really want something that I could like be in for a few years and like maybe grow into. I'm moving, um, I guess that's that. I'm sure that these questions will pop up like when the video is posted and stuff. People are like, are you moving in with your boyfriend? Whatever. I'm planning on moving um, a, a little bit earlier than he is, like based on when his lease is up. I am planning on moving out of here like a little bit before the summer. So yes, we're moving in together, but I'll be living in like this space for a little bit before he moves in. So hopefully that answers your questions. Um, but I do want to address like all of that and just moving stuff in general. So let me know if you guys have kind of moving content that you wanna see. Of course, we'll do apartment hunting and of course like moving vlogs when that time comes. But let me know if there's anything else that you would want that you're curious about, I guess, with moving content you know maybe we can do like a neighborhood hunting something or other like exploring different neighborhoods kind of strolling around I feel like if you're moving to new york or really if you're moving anywhere it's really important to like get a feel for your neighborhood and where you live so much of this city specifically it's like yeah you pay for your space and everything but you pay for your access to like whatever neighborhood you live in like some people the actual like apartment is more important than like the adjacent neighborhood other people, it just depends what's important to you. But after living here for so long, I have definitely learned that like the neighborhood is pretty important to me. Of course, like with the space and everything too. I mean, I guess like my, I spend a lot of time at home. So my apartment's really important to me, but I would also like to be in an area that is vibrant, but not too loud that I feel comfortable in, that I feel like I could kind of grow into. Ideally, I would want to be in a place where I don't have to like move again after a year. I mean, I didn't do that for this place. I lived in my first New York City apartment and then I moved into this one and I've been, this is my third lease in this apartment. I mean, it's an amazing apartment. I have, you know, I did an apartment tour if you guys missed that, where I go into detail of like where everything's from and just the space and it's really truly an amazing space. Like today it's gonna be 70 degrees outside. I'm gonna be out on that balcony. The door will be open. I'm so excited about that. Like, I don't know if I'll ever be able to find an apartment that has every, all the features that like this one does. That's the New York real estate <laughs> game. What's important to you? What do you want? Excited to share more of all of that coming soon. It's not, just so we're clear also, like it's not happening tomorrow. It's still March, um, but I just kind of wanted to get a little bit ahead of the curve with like starting videos and stuff for that series. So 
keep that in mind. We're gonna go work out and then we're gonna pick up a meal pal meal for lunch because I'm trying that this week. I think that's it. It would be great if I could get my voice back. I'm not investing that for myself. The birds are chirping. It just feels like spring is here. I just feel so happy. The pickup from Sweet Green is like so easy for meal pal. I just literally went in. They have a section that says meal pal and it's just like the one salad that they're offering today which is actually my order the harvest bowl incredible and they put the nuts on the side and i normally don't do the nuts it's a gorgeous day 70 degrees like door open vibes it's just perfect it feels like the same temperature inside and outside which i just love when it's like still i did my hair and makeup because i did film some ads i just don't really have a voice don't really know why i'm not sure if it's allergies or if, if, if it's like some sort of cold but i think that pollen is back so maybe it's that i might have a pollen allergy i guess balcony is looking cute i have one more call for some gals in the go stuff just had a really nice afternoon i think ben's gonna come over and then we're gonna go like later tonight after the sun sets because i want to take advantage of this nice day and sit on the balcony and stuff but after all of that then i think we're going to go see dune 2 Watched Dune 1 the other night. I went over to his apartment. It's definitely like confusing. I feel like it's probably way better if you've read the books. I just like there's a lot that's, you know, I've seen commentary that there's a lot in the books that's not in the movies. Typical because, you know, it's only a two hour movie. How could they fit an entire book in it? So with that being said, I, it's a little confusing, but like I can mostly tell what's going on. I just don't really, I, I understand like the loose plot, but I heard Dune 2 is even better than Dune 1. So we're going to go, I think, to the movies tonight to see it. And I've been craving going to the movies. I just want like popcorn and candy and that experience of just like watching a movie like that. I've been wanting it. I actually looked up the other day like movies that are out right now and it was like pretty much only Dune. I was like, all right, I guess I, got, I guess I go to watch this if I want to go to the movies. This is a little white tank top. It's ribbed from Cezanne and Jenny Kane sweater and then black Lululemon leggings, just like a home fit for now. Oh, I can show you this really quick. I'm going on two trips back to back or three really, because it's LA, and then I'm going on a brand trip to Miami, and then actually coincidentally from Miami, I'm leaving to go on a cruise. Ben and I are going on the cruise together. I picked him up um, two pieces from Cezanne actually for our trip. They do very kindly give me credit. It came with this tote bag, really cute. And they have really great men's stuff, so I decided to pick them up two things. If any of you guys are in the market for like brothers, boyfriends, whatever. First up, we have this t-shirt i'm not great at men's style but i like that this is these are just like more interesting versions of like a pretty basic item i don't want to unfold this because i'm like no i'm not going to be able to fold it the same way but it's a navy t-shirt with this collar i have to think what he would wear this with i think he does have like linen -y pants or i guess with khakis this could work or like a khaki like pant i think that's fun it's like brown almost like a dark green really nice really soft really great quality this stuff and this I love so much. This I will unfold to show you guys. Also the like Cezanne men's collection, it's called October, October, I think. I don't, I don't speak French. This is really cute. This looks enormous though. I don't know if this is gonna fit him. I got the other one in a medium, this in a large, but it's a polo organic cotton, okay? But I just really liked the, the collar on this and like the sleeves have that lining too. So it's just like a cream polo, but it has that lining. This like with jeans or with a, any sort of pant really. Thought for like, the dinners i don't know cruises are not like too formal but i thought that this was like beachy slash vacation vibes they're definitely really nice pieces and i'm really excited about those and the items that i got from saison that i'm packing for my trips so i got a bunch of good stuff i am happy as a clam because i just got a good fitting pair of jeans i have ordered a few pairs over the past few weeks trying to find just like a good old reliable pair of jeans that maybe hugs my body a little bit because all of my jeans that I currently have I have some good pairs but they are either really wide leg or they're just like straight legs so they don't touch my thighs or anything at all and they just they don't do anything for my body you know no figure well not anymore this is just the top I mean the top is kind of just giving American like uh, Abercrombie American Eagle circa whatever year jegging but wait till you see the bottom they have like a boot cut it's giving body body. They're long. They're actually so long that I'm gonna have to wear them with like a platform sneaker or something or a heel. And they're from Mother Denim. I've never gotten anything from them before. And wow, I am just so impressed. Bridget Acquired Style recommended this pair. I feel like I'm not doing anything right now. I just tried them on with heels and it looked better, but I just wanted something that like was kind of a little bit more form fitting on my thighs. I feel like something like this, like it makes my legs look longer versus just these straight leg ones. I'm like, okay. I feel like feminine in these and cute. One of my toxic traits is that I will leave the tags on until I wear something, but these, the tags are coming off now. 
I'll tell you that because I think I'm gonna pack them. My mom wears jeans on planes. I'm like that. Arrest her here, ma'am. I'm drinking this green juice. I have had this gift card at press, so I've been taking advantage of it with the juices and stuff, and hopefully it will help my sickness situation. I think it's allergies, though. I can't get over how much this weather is like helping my mood. It's, it should be studied. I got a croissant from Eli's A bars. Cute. Like I've been to every grocery store uptown today. Got a delicious bagel from Tao Bagels. I love them. I'm going in. I wish I ate it when it was hot, but I brought it home instead. Got a little gloss on my hair. I'm having such a cute day. Sunset on a pretty night in New York. Hair looks great, thanks to Mads. I was watching Cancelled, just made some tater tots and crying watching match day videos on TikTok because it is match day. I'm learning more and more about like medical school stuff because my boyfriend's in medical school. He has a few more years to go before he is at that point of like matching. My gosh, it is just so emotional, so heartwarming. Happy. A few of these are available. We listed the one leftover ones like from the tour. There were a few left from some of the shows so we listed them on our merch website so you can pick them up if you want on fanjoy so you go check that out i think i have the link down below i realized that i didn't end off the vlog and this is my morning packing for this two week stint i'm just so bad at this like i i just feel like i'm botching this in every way and i'm so nervous that i'm gonna get on these trips and be like what the hell did i bring with me i'm like not a very organized person organized chaos like i'm not one of these people that's like every little thing like has a little organizer and bin and stuff i like want to be that person i've always wanted to be that person like i know where everything is everything has a place kind of but i'm not so polished but like when you're doing a, a bigger trip with like different climates and stuff you need to kind of be somewhat organized. I used these bags that I got from Amazon. I think I showed them in the last vlog with my clothes in them. Cause like I'm going to Miami. So I have like my Miami event fits. Hopefully that's good. Cruise night fits. That's not all of the cruise night fits. Like I have more. These are bathing suits. I need to label this. I just kind of want everything to be labeled. So I'm not just opening random things. And I feel like I want to bring like just extra outfits too. Like I'm not going to bring just the proper amount of outfits I need to bring extra. Here's more cruise night fits. So I'm like, maybe we'll condense this bag into here. So this is gonna be my project this morning. I leave tomorrow, so I will start another vlog. I will be like an LA vlog. I'm excited. We have a, we kind of hit the ground running when we get there. Like Monday is a big day. We're doing three podcasts on Monday and then we have a dinner. Um, pretty much every day we're there, we're recording at least one podcast. Most days it's two because we're doing like podcast swaps. But I'm really excited. You guys are going to love, I think, some of the people who we're like collabing with. So you can leave any of your guesses down below um, who you think that we're like doing podcast swaps with because there's some LA podcasters, some West Coast people in there. I think there's only four outfits and I need five. All right, this is my project today. I love you guys all so much. Um, subscribe if you're new here. Lots of exciting stuff coming on the channel and I'm just so grateful for each and every one of you for taking the time out to watch this video and supporting me. And yeah, I love you guys. Bye.